I'm your host, Tight Squeeze Belsif. The reason why I have a Tight Squeeze Belsif going on here is because we're going to put these rear shocks back into the old Chevy Silverado. Square body, or whatever you want to call her, Jim. I got it all out here. The only thing I wonder about, it comes with its upper bolt that goes through the frame. How come shocks never come with a lower bolt? Does anybody have the answer to that question? Because I'd like to know it. I don't have the answer and I don't know why. I had to go out and buy them bolts because mine were, but we're gonna get all this stuff moved over to the back of the truck here and we'll uh, get underneath and see if we can't slide in a shock or two. I got my two bright 9,000 in here. And as you can see, it's super bright on the eyeballs, but at least you guys can see, and I can see when I look this way. I just can't see when I'm looking at you. I haven't done much with the rear end yet because I want to service that once I get on the road, because I can bring it to work and put it on the hoist and service that whole thing, no problem there, which would make it a lot freaking easier work if you know what I'm saying. And then I can touch up spots that I missed and stuff in the frame too, but I already serviced the brakes. They look good. I just want to change the oil in the old diff here, clean her all up with a wire wheel and painter. But we can do that, like I said, at work when it's in the air. We can. It's not a perfect paint job under here, but let me tell you what, it's better than nothing. Yeah. First thing we want to do here is we want to put a shock in the hole. Now, I never seized everything already prior, as you've seen on the bench there. I don't know if I mentioned it, but everything is never seized already. So what we need to do is we need to put the bolt in the hole, which is this one, with a washer on this side and another washer and the lock. So we'll slide that up in here, put it through, and get it started. Can you see? Probably not. Here, have a look up in here somewhere. You might be able to see, I don't know break up here. So we get that one started like so. There we go. Then we'll get the shock and we'll put it up in there like so. This is kind of a tight fit it is. That's okay. We'll slide it on. There we go. And now that once that's on we got to try to pressurize the old shock ah, and put it into the mount right here. Which we can do because I have zero strength. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold up. Get in there, you son of a beaver. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, oh my God. Did you see that? Holy, that was a little bit of work out there, Cal. Trying to get that bad boy up there. We did it. So now that's up there. We can put the lock washer on and we can put the bolt on. There we go. So now up top, we got to put another washer if I can get to it. Right there, and another bolt. Right there. That worked mighty good, it did. So, now that we get that mounted, and all the bolts in, we're not gonna tighten it yet, we're gonna go to the, no we are, are we? No, no we're not. We're gonna go to the other side, which is over here, and we're gonna play instant replay. So we got washer, stud, that one's way up there, you probably won't be able to see that one. Washer, ow! <laughs> uh, I can't reach. Uh, uh, uh. I need to get two arms up there. How's that gonna work? Uh. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. It's all the way you hold your freaking belly. Freaking right it is. I should have took you along for the ride taking these out because they were real. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. So now we're gonna put the other washer on, which we forgot on the other side. So I'll take that one back off, which I really don't want to, but I have to. So put that washer on. Are you watching? Here, let me throw it over here. Ready? Oh, I got never sees all over my camera now. Why wouldn't I? Do you see up there? I hope so. I'm up here. Here, let me move you over a little bit. I feel good. I'm up here. What do I need? Washer, bolt, shock. And we'll get it hanging. We gotta go between that brake line like this we do on this one. So I'll slide that on, maybe. Make sure you don't tighten these first because I can tell right now by this shock, if you tighten it first, you're not gonna get the damn shock on. There's not enough room between the doodad and the whatnot. All right, so there you go. I remembered the washer that time on that one. That one started. There we go. So now we can start at the bottom. All right, here we go again with my bad arm. Oh, man. Stay. Get it started. Push. Go in. Hole. There it is. We did it. All right, we did it. So we get that bolt started, which will almost go all the way on, like so. Now, while we're under here, let's tighten this bad boy up. What do you think? Harry might want to know. I got a rear end right in my mouth. How you doing, bud? Just don't drip on my face. So I think this is for this one. Yeah. Let's get impact 500, and we'll give her a doodad. And then I got a wrench somewhere. Here it is. Stay there. Don't fall on my face. Then we can get up here like this. Maybe. Careful. Easy. I said maybe. 
Come on. You can't get her on, Captain. All right, here we go. Here we go. I did it. There we go. Let's on. Okay, so hopefully you can see, I moved you kind of into a decent angle here. I'm hoping to get this back off so we get the inside washer back on. So we're gonna see how well that goes. I should have sanded this frame better. But when the wheel's off, I can get all that frame. See, I got kind of rushy under here. I hate to say it, but I don't know if any of you have ever painted underneath the vehicle before, but it's not a fun job at all. So that's why I kind of got rushy and I got a perfectly good hoist at work. We're gonna take full advantage of that once I get her on the road to redo a few spots. I don't know who the hell's outside, but it sounds like a Subaru to me. So we'll take that back off. We'll slide this back off, maybe. We'll slide the washer on, I forgot. There we go. Now we'll slide the shock back on, like that. We'll slide the bolts back on. Can I get up there? Camera's in the way. Washer, I can't see. Am I getting it? Washer, nut. Make sure you put the nut on the right way around. I think it's on the right way around. Feels like it. There we go. These. No, put the bottom shock on. Oh, I'm caught on something. Oh, this stupid plastic thing. Oh, God. Maybe we should take that out of there now, eh? What are you thinking? Are you thinking the same thing I am? Unless I get push and slide over. There we go. Okay, Hold on, dude. I can't push this shock many more times, I'll tell you that right now. Don't come all the way out. Great. Oh, yeah. Now I gotta really push on it. Oh, I love this. Oh, oh, it'd be so nice on a hoist. Oh, oh, oh it's coming out again. Get up there yet. You gotta kinda catch it as you come down. I think we got her. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna get her, don't worry, Captain. There she is. Oh, hey. How my glasses locked? I broke them the other day too. Hey, can you see that? They're just done they are. Get the nut on here. Like so, hopefully I haven't got that one caught. No, I don't, good, thank God. And then we'll go through the process of tightening her all up again. That's what I do. There's really not much to do in the shock, to be honest with you. I think I'm gonna tighten this one first because I'm already got it on the gun. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Take one. That one's done. So now we need this one. We no longer need that one. They can go in here. Still need that one. We need this. We don't need that one. We need our 22 millimeter, which is way the hell over here. So we'll stick the 22 millimeter up in here. We can find it. I'm thinking right there somewhere. Let's put the gun on it and see if we can find it easier. Nope. Nope. How am I gonna get up there? Let's try going this way. Nope. Nope. Oh, hold on. Oh, frig. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Come on. There it is. There we go. So we're done with that one. So now all we need is this one, which I don't think I'm gonna get the gun in there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna have to ratchet that one. Well, that's no damn good. Oh, quiet. Frig, who wants to ratchet? Not me. Is it the right one? Let's feel up there and see here. Can you see? Probably not. Here, let me get you back up there a little bit, maybe. Let me see. Yep, you can see my hand. So what we gotta do is we gotta get this up in here and we gotta tighten it. We're gonna be using a ratchet on this deal because I haven't got enough room between here and the tire. Maybe I do. Hey, let's try it. Get on there, you son of a beaver. Gun, air, no. So don't want to even bother. Extension, socket, ratchet in the hole, tighten. Oh, that ratchet's working good. We got the top of the line ratchet today. Man, oh man, next year we're able to pull the box off and sandblast this frame. What do you think of that idea? That'd be cool. Let's get everything backwards. Why wouldn't we? Nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, careful. The shock will come off easy. I put never seize on them. Oh, there we go. That's tight enough. All right, so there you go. The shocks are on. So now we can do is cut off those releases. And uh, Bob, your uncle, you wait here while I go get that. Where are you? Where am I? What is that? Can't see it. Oh, watch your back. Where are my pliers? Go. Did I actually put them away? Holy crap, I did. Why the hell wouldn't I, boys? Girls, people. Things are rolling pretty good here. We got uh, the shocks on. You're just gonna snap that off. Snap the top one off. Now you could probably take these off right away anyways. It's just to hold them in the box. But I figured I'd leave them on because they come off just as easy after too. And then we'll go back, way back up here. And we'll snap that one off. Maybe I should have took this one off first. Oh, there it is. There we go. Hey, give me it. Well, that's all there is to putting rear shocks on the back of a square body. Chevy Silverado. 
10 a year to be honest with you, 88 and up, 87 and down, and 90 something and up probably too. I think my truck's the same way out back there, or the one in the driveway there, so. They're pretty much all the same, but that worked out pretty good. We got new shocks in the back on the front now, so she should ride pretty nice, I'm hoping. But like I said, leave me a comment down below if you want to see me do a service to this rear end there once I get her on the road and on the hoist. Because I'll take you along with me if you want. And we'll finish cleaning up a few spots we can't get to later on our back. I want to paint the back of the backing plates and stuff like that too on the brakes. Clean them up with a wire wheel and give them a little how you doing. And this, that, and the other thing. But I'm glad you're all here. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. Can't see out my glasses because they're dirty right now. I got never sees on, I'm pretty sure. Just like it never sees all over you. Holy, how do you like it? You're all looped up, chap. Friggin' right here. Love you all. Glad you're here. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. Until next time. You know what to do for now.